Hello to everybody. Well, I'm really happy to share with you once again another clinical case that I solved in my clinic using Invisalign technique. And also I want to share with you like, like uh, small tips that you can apply maybe in your clinical case to get the better results. This woman, when she came to my clinic, she came with this severe crowding and open bite and complaining a lot about the, the aesthetic of the smile. She didn't like it and, and she was dreaming. I remember the words of her telling me that I'm dreaming for a beautiful smile. Well, this is the final result that we are going to get after the 18 months of, of work, where we're going to give a better balance a smile with the face and lips, uh, only using uh, aligners. Well, the situation that she presented at the beginning was something like this. She was crawling, open bite, anterior, or anterior cross bite with the lateral inside source, narrow arch, and also you can check that she was developing um, some uh, periodontal rotations. And this is the situation where you can see the severe open bite that she's developing, also the canting of the, of the midlines, and also look how uh, upper and lower incisions are totally protruded and outside the mouth. So she had a really, uh, a really big problem uh, in in uh, in the in the anterior incisors, uh, but uh, uh, but it's happening because she she presented some problems in the transversal plane. Uh, so if she hasn't uh, any 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 good space in the in the posterior part. The anterior teeth are produced outside. We analyze. We take. We took the, our scan, our anterior scan, to start working with the ClinCheck Pro. This is the initial records uh, from the anterior scan, and I start working with that. And at the end of the of the treatment, uh, well, this is the the views of the upper and lower arches, where you can check the asymmetry of the arch. As I always say. One of the main things that we have to do is you working with the symmetric of the arches with the rotation of molars and then coordinate upper and lower arches. Okay, you can see here the details of the crowding and also the periodontal rotation that she is developing. And you can see here how after 18 months of treatment, more or less, we got this beautiful result with the engagement is perfect, uh, with the final result in class one with a beautiful overbite, the, the open bite was solved, the crowding, and look at the beautiful stability in the occlusion, also the shape of the arches. One of the main things that you have to do in your cases is you have to work with the shape of the arch. Okay, It's so mandatory that upper and lower arches has to be coordinated with the torque in order to give this perfect engagement, this is the key. Okay, so the arches, you have to work with them with the symmetry of the torch, okay? And you can see here how the smile is so beautiful and balanced, okay? And look at the evolution from here with this open bite, with everything was protruded. Look at the lower incisor that were totally outside of the bone. And at the end, doing expansion, some IPR, I got this beautiful result. Okay, the arches from here, how we work with them, we give in these beautiful arches and the final result. Okay, so this is possible to do it with Invisalign if you control the biomechanical movement and of course you can do it if you, if you try to understand uh, how is the behavior of the teeth when you make the pressure with the liners instead of of, of bases, okay? So I'm really happy to help share this tip with you. And if you want to learn more, of course, I wait for you in the in the, in the program of Master Coip, where you can check the information in www.mastercoip.com. Thank you very much.